Now, when we roast coffee, there's a buildup of carbon dioxide gas inside the beans. And the beans release that gas over a period of days afterwards. We call it degassing. And your coffee bags, when you buy coffee, have a one-way valve here, which allows that gas to escape from the bags. Grinding coffee and adding water to coffee accelerates that degassing. And that causes a bit of a problem with these pour over methods. There's not much contact time between the water and the coffee because it's passing through. And when you first start to pour, you get quite an active degassing going on. And that prevents the water from getting at the grounds, from saturating the grounds, and it kind of inhibits that initial extraction. So the bloom phase is all about getting rid of those gases before we start the brewing itself. Do that by pouring a small amount of water onto the coffee grounds. So I'll start my timer and I'll use about twice the amount of water as I have grounds. Maybe a touch more. Don't be afraid to go a touch more if it means that you saturate the grounds thoroughly. And then get a spoon and really stir the whole thing and properly stir. You want to get all the grounds deep inside the filter nice and wet. And we want that degassing to happen now before we start the brew proper. And I'll wait till about 50 seconds into the pour before I start adding any more water. 